next we talk about the border diagram of uh, this transfer function which is uh, slightly more complex uh, however sketching border diagrams for these uh, transfer functions is uh, as simple as uh, for uh, first order and second order factors so frequency response uh, can be simply obtained by replacing s with j omega so this is the frequency response for each of these factors there are multiple factors of this uh, transfer function for each of these factors we have learned how to obtain asymptotic border diagram and uh, uh, therefore uh, what we shall do is that we shall uh, sketch the asymptotic border diagram for each of these factors and from those border diagrams we shall obtain an overall asymptotic border diagram so first uh, we write it in uh, a form which is convenient for us to sketch so we take uh, three common from here and two common from here so three by two one plus uh, this j omega divided by three and likewise over here two divided by two is one and j omega divided by two and this is also written in this form for this kind of factor we have uh, already learned how to obtain body diagram uh, for for example for this factor in the numerator the magnitude plot will be up to this corner frequency you will have a line with 0 db and after this corner frequency you will have a line with a slope of 20 db per decade uh, we also have uh, some additional term and uh, what is body diagram of this term uh, for all frequencies magnitude is uh, the same that is 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 converted in dbs uh, is 3.5 so body diagram of this term 3 by 2 is simply a straight line uh, at uh, uh, 3.5 dbs here is the line which is the body magnitude plot for this factor how to draw body magnitude plot for this factor what was the body magnitude plot of 1 over j omega that was a straight line with a slope of minus 20 db per decade and to draw this line you need one point and slope so uh, how to determine the point uh, the simplest point is uh, 1 and at 1 what is uh, the magnitude of this term 0 db so one uh, so we shall, uh, should draw a line passing through this point with a slope of minus 20 db per decade so here is that line and uh, next uh, uh, comes uh, the body diagram of this factor 1 over 1 plus j omega so what is body diagram for this factor uh, up to this corner frequency what is corner frequency 1 up to this corner frequency we draw a line uh, with 0 db and after that we draw a line with a slope of minus 20 db per decade so that is drawn over here uh, so up to this corner frequency we have line with 0 db and after that we have line with minus 20 db per decade which uh, just overlaps with this uh, blue line next uh, we want to draw the asymptotic border diagram for this factor uh, what is corner frequency corner frequency is 2 so up to that particular frequency we shall have uh, a line with 0 db and after that corner frequency there will be a line with a slope of minus 20 db per decade where is this frequency 2 this frequency is 1 so this frequency is 2 so up to this frequency we have a line with uh, 0 db and after that we have a line uh, with a slope of minus 20 db per decade so what about this factor uh, up to corner frequency which is 3 we shall have a line with 0 db and after that a line with a slope of uh, plus 20 db per decade so this is these uh, are the asymptotic magnitude frequency response for each of these factors how to obtain the overall 
frequency response. Overall frequency, overall uh, magnitude frequency response is obtained by adding all these graphs. Why we are over here? Factors are being multiplied. So why we are adding the factors over here? Right. So because on the vertical axis we have we have taken the log of the magnitude, and if uh, two factors are multiplied, their logs will be added. So one of the advantage of taking uh, uh, dBs uh, on the vertical axis is uh, that this multiplication uh, will be simply converted to addition over here, right? So overall frequency response is obtained by adding all these graphs. So uh, up to this point, for example, how to add these two gra these graphs? Uh, we have uh, this graph is 0 dB, uh, this graph, uh, this graph and this graph, these are 0 dB. Only we have this graph and this red line. So sum of these two lines up to this frequency, it will only shift this blue line upward by how much? 3 .5. By 3.5. So up to this frequency, uh, we have added this red line and blue line. After that, what is situation? Uh, we have one uh, graph for this blue line and another graph for uh, this factor which was uh, this one. So this uh, slope of this line is minus 20 dB per decade. Slope of the other line is also minus 20 dB per decade. So if you add the two lines, you will have a line with a slope of minus 40 dB per decade. So how to draw a line with a slope of minus 40 dB per decade? So you simply orient this scale uh, with uh, that particular slope. So that is uh, on uh, from here to here, you have one decade and in one decade you have drop of 40 dB. So slope of this scale is minus 40 dB per decade. You simply bring it uh, to this point and draw a line uh, with that particular slope. So up to which frequency uh, the slope will remain minus 40 dB per decade? Up to which frequency? Up to this frequency, up to this particular frequency. Where the slope uh, after this particular frequency slope will uh, further decrease to minus 60 dB per decade. So from this frequency up to this frequency we uh, draw a line with a slope of minus 40 dB per decade. So up to this frequency. After this frequency, this frequency, this green line also plays its role. So minus 20 dB per decade for this line, minus 20 dB per decade for this blue line, and minus 20 dB per decade for this black line. So from here onwards, you should draw a line with a slope of minus 60 dB per decade. Uh, up to which frequency? Up to this corner frequency. So you orient the scale with a slope of minus, third, uh, minus uh, 60 dB per decade. Uh, uh, th this frequency to this frequency we have 1 decade and drop is uh, minus 60 dB. Uh, bring this scale over here, draw a line with that particular slope. And what uh, is the situation after this frequency? Minus 40 dB per decade. So here slope is minus, uh, slope of this line minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, plus 20. So slope, overall slope is uh, minus 40 dB per decade. And from here onwards, you draw a line with a slope of minus uh, 40 dB per decade. So this is, uh, this black line is the overall asymptotic magnitude frequency response of this transfer function. For the phase plot, what we see is that uh, at very low frequencies, uh, we can ignore this term, ignore this term, ignore this term, you have 3 divided by uh, j omega. And what is phase angle of that complex number? Uh, j uh, has an angle of 90 degrees, so in the denominator it is uh, 
if you bring it in the numerator it has an angle of minus 90 degrees so at low frequencies the phase angle is minus 90 degrees and sorry so we, if we we cannot ignore it because 3 divided by very small number uh, is very big number so if we just uh, replace it with for example 1 so we are making a big mistake so we cannot ignore it however over here ignoring omega is not a problem because 2 plus very small number is the same as 2 so here uh, we can ignore omega here we can ignore omega here also but this omega cannot be ignored so anyway 3 divided by j omega that has a phase angle of minus 90 degrees which is uh, deep, uh, over here and at very high frequencies what will be the phase angle at very high frequencies uh, we can for example ignore uh, uh, these uh, uh, constant uh, and then this j omega will be cancelled with this j omega we have uh, this j omega multiplied by this j omega so 90 degrees for this one and uh, sorry minus 90 degrees for this one and minus 90 degrees for this one so minus 180 degrees so this is uh, the uh, uh, Bode phase uh, frequency plot uh, you can also use MATLAB commands uh, to obtain the Bode diagrams uh, this uh, command Bode uh, that will plot the magnitude frequency response and also the phase frequency response this command Bode magnitude, Bode magnitude that will only plot the magnitude frequency response so I have uh, utilized MATLAB to sketch the Bode magnitude plot of this transfer function that looks like this one I have simply rescaled it uh, and drawn it uh, on the same graph so you can see that this plot which is obtained by MATLAB uh, almost overlaps with the plot that we obtained using uh, asymptotic Bode diagrams so in practice uh, you will always uh, or in most of the cases uh, you will draw these uh, plots using uh, software tools however you should have uh, some understanding uh, that uh, how will be the effect of adding poles and zeros on the magnitude and phase plot of a system